Hey there, welcome back guys. In this video, we're going to 3D print the Eiffel Tower. That's right, Merci, we're here. Um, well, we don't really, we, we, we can't go to Paris, but we can bring Paris to you. And just remember, after all these videos, we will always have Paris. Anyway, so without any further ado, let's get started. We're going to show the STL file and then, you know, download it and print it. And thankfully, this does not need any supports. So without any further ado, let's get started. Let's go, um, you know, check out the uh, Eiffel Tower STL and see how it prints. All right. Okay, I'll leave a link to the Eiffel Tower in the description below. You can download it from Printables. It's a free file. Um, go to the download right here. Okay. And it should download shortly. And you might want to like it if you're happy with it. And they're, you know, right here, eight megabytes download. As you can see, it just downloaded. And there we are. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take it and drag it into the um, Ultimaker Cura application. And for this video, we will be using Cura 5.7.0. Um, moving forward, I, leave, I left everything the way it is, okay? The only thing I changed was I clicked on it like that. And for me, I don't, I don't need it to be that big. And as you can see, I just wanted it to be small and at a reasonable size. So you want to make sure, see this part here is move. And in case you're wondering what I'm talking about, I will just um, do a force quit on that, launch that, quit that so that you guys can follow along. Right. And I'll just enable the cursor. So again, you tap it, right? And then this one is move, but you want to be here on the second one, scale. Now, I wasn't, I don't need it that big, like I was saying. So for me, 70% is fine. But before you press enter, you want to make sure uniform scaling is selected so that everything is uniform and shrinks at the same time. So when I press enter, the X, Y, and Z areas will go, voila. And then moving forward, I, I didn't change any of the settings. So if you have custom settings, um, you know, just revert back to the default so that this prints. Okay. And then we're going to go to slice. Okay. And now when it's sliced, you can see how it's going to print. You can do a print preview. Okay. And when, in order to see the print preview, you have to click up there, get rid of that. And then you can see all the layers, how they're going to print. Um, that's layer one all the way to layer 523. Remember 523 layers only because we chose 70%. I tried 50% and it wasn't working out. Uh, maybe if you have a better printer than what I've got, you might be able to experience 50%. But I've noticed that even though my prints come out great, um, some STL files like have a cap um, where the, um, the cutoff point is to actually uh, be able to take advantage of scaling. Some print files 50%, some print files 40, some 30. And the only way you know that is by, um, you know, printing it and it's sort of like a trial and error. So, um, if it doesn't print, just know it might not be a printer. It could be the, the scalability, uh, capabilities that the, um, the STL file has. So, you know, before you go crazy trying to fine tune stuff, um, just print something like the fish to calibrate uh, recalibrate things to make sure it's not your printer. And like they say, it's not me, it's you. So this is only going to take an hour and 21 minutes, right? And then we'll save the disc. Uh, you can save it as you have, ever you want me. I always like to take that away. And, and then I'll just click, I'll save it to the desktop and then I will send it to the printer. Um, let's see what we have here. Yep, here it is. Just want to make sure, um, in the details, uh, that there isn't anything that we missed. Um, as you can see, um, it's just ready to, you know, it's one of those STL files that I love because uh, you just print it, you know, you set it and forget it. And then you, you basically have to make sure that, you know, your printer can do the magic that is going to be done. Uh, so knowing that and moving forward, I'm not sure what you, how you, um, send your prints to the printer, but I do mine from the, um, camera as you can see, and I'll just upload it, uh, to printable files and then upload Eiffel tower. 
and then now it's sent to the printer and of course I'll have to clear the bed because there's something else I printed on there but knowing that and moving forward let's check it out let's uh, I'll clean up the board and for you guys it'll happen in real time and see how this thing prints on the printer <laughs> Ah, there we go. All right, so it's recording on three, two, one. There we go. All right, so let's check it out. Wow, gotta love it. What I like about it is that it actually printed without any flaws. Look at that. We got you know, amazing. I just, I'm, I'm, I'm just blown away. Um, I did try it at fifty percent. 50% did not work. Well, let's see if, um, see how everything just falls off the board when you leave, you know, when you leave it overnight. Oh, look, look at that. Did you see that? Look, it's just basically, normally, like, if you've seen me in some videos where I'm so excited, I, well, as one of our viewers said, the scraper. So we have, um, uh, you know, the plastic one. But look, wow, look at that. Wow, amazing. It looks a little, you know, it, it's still printed the way it was supposed to. Aesthetically, it does look like the Eiffel Tower. Wow, we're just going to pull this off. And um, put this in the garbage. And then check it out over here. Let's, let me just put this... Whoops. There we are. Wow. And this is this is amazing. I like it. And it's really nice. It it it, it looks like a little looks like a string. String and look at that. That's I mean string like a rope. Um because if you say string, some people might say stringing, but no, it's like a rope. It's like it, it's weaved. Look, the little place over here where you go. Oh, wow, look, and this side is blue. I like that. Oh, because, yeah, this side's always going to be blue. And if you've watched my um, filament calibration tool, um, you know, you adjust it so that you get certain parts of your print another color. Um, this is really cool. So that's true to 9 o'clock, I guess. 9 o'clock, 6 o'clock, 3 o'clock, and 12 o'clock. According to, you know, this tool right there. See? Which would be here. Kind of cool. I like that. So you can keep blue there. And I, I, what's, What I'm impressed with is the antenna at the top. Right? How it, it, it just printed it. Because I've seen some um, images where people shared and the antenna was bent. But look at that. It print the finest point straight to the top. Phenomenal. Wow. I like it. We we bought one of these when we were in Paris many years ago, but it's a little tchotchke slash keychain. But now we bring Paris to you. Kind of cool. I like it. Anyway, um, that's it. And what am I gonna do with it? I'm just gonna. Whoops. Um, I guess I'm gonna put it over there. And when you see it, you'll be like, I remember that video. I saw that video. Wow, kind of neat. Where are we going to put it though? We're running out of space. Um, I'm going to put this probably over here. 
when I work on my FPV skills one day, I will open that up or maybe give it away, like have a raffle, right? Like a giveaway. You too can be the winner, or runners up. Yeah, just leave it there. Um, hopefully, mm, yeah, I think that's a good spot. Fair, we'll find out. Because a lot of times when my kids come in here, they knock stuff down. And I already broke Leo on the benchy. Um, he's cracked in half from when he fell. Maybe I'll just glue stuff on there. I don't know. We'll see. Anyway, that's it. That's pretty much how you print the um, uh, Eiffel Tower with no supports. Again, sometimes some files need support. Um, why? I don't know when they say they don't. Uh, maybe because if sometimes in the fine print it might say PLA, pet G, or whatever it is. Um, but in this case, it printed on the first try, which I love. Um, it also means that your printer is well calibrated. Um, it also means that maybe I just got lucky. Anyway, if you have any comments or questions, feel free to leave them down below. More ideas for other videos. Remember to like and subscribe. And I'll see you all next time.